apply. And that's the whole thing. I mean, that that's what's been causing all that problem with, with lag. So now, uh, what he suggested is that we uh, get rid of the Wacom driver and then reinstall it. But instead of doing that, my solution is a little bit less cumbersome. Uh, what I'm going to have you guys do is go to um, my computer and go to tools, go to folder options, and in the view tab, uh, by default, uh, the OS has do not show hidden files checked, but what I want you to do is check show hidden files and folders, and then apply that, okay? That's very important. Once you've done that, you can go into your C drive, and then go to documents and settings, and then click on the user you're using. You can see that the previously hidden file called application data is now available. Click on that. Inside of there is a folder called W Tablet. That's the Wacom Tablet folder. Click inside. Uh, you'll see that there's a DAT file called the uh, Pen Tablet. What I want you to do is um, just get rid of it. Delete it. Yes, I want to delete it. Okay. After you have uh, deleted it, uh, you can rebuild it by going into all programs and launching uh, the Wacom's uh, pen tablet properties utility, which uh, is a uh, utility that they provide to change the settings for their tablets. Uh, once you launch that, it should rebuild that DAT file. And now I'm going to go back to Painter. I'm just going to launch that file that we saved. Okay, there it is. Let me make it big. Oops. What happened there? I think I closed it. Okay, that was goofy. Let me launch that. Oh, I think I pushed the escape by mistake. Okay. All right. So with that, click and hold disabled. Let me see. Let me show you what uh, your pen strokes look like now. Same test. I think I went as fast as last time, but uh, as you can see, the strokes doesn't have that weird lumpy beginning now. Uh, there's less dropping of the strokes. Handwriting still sucks, but that's my fault. So it's looking much better. See, there's not that lumpy start at the beginning of the stroke. Whereas here, see the lumpy start, especially the C and K there, J, pretty noticeable, that kind of stuff. That's no longer the case, but even better, uh, I'm going to go into brush tracking again. Let me show you uh, what it looks like. See, that's what it's supposed to look like nice small start um, no gaps see that? that's exactly what it's supposed to do um, and all that problem has been caused by click and hold one little checkbox the interesting thing is um, you know, in Vista, I never changed click and hold. It's, uh, I, I have that enabled, but um, it doesn't cause any problems. So obviously, Microsoft noticed the problem and solved it. 
uh, I'm gonna shut down the camera and launch uh, or just put back my original um, hard drive I, I installed a XP tablet into my spare hard drive that's what's running it right now I'm gonna reinstall this stuff really quickly and show you okay guys uh, I put the original hard drive back in so we're now running Vista let me show you that there's Vista with arrow um, so Painter 10 let me show you the quick writing test again Okay, so, yep, uh, no dropped strokes, no weird, lumpy beginning of the strokes. Mm, horrible handwriting still. Whatever. Oops. Brush tracking. Let's see how that looks. So, yep, looks great. Nice tapering, no gaps. But um, the difference is that if I go to control panel here. And in Vista, it's called uh, well, it's called something slightly different. Pen and input devices. Uh, press and hold is a third item without changing the tabs. Settings. As you can see, the uh, enable press and hold is on, and that's the default setting. I never changed it. So uh, in Vista, for whatever reason, um, I guess they changed it. Uh, from XP Tablet Edition that um, press and hold does not cause lag. Uh, let me see. There you go. Press and hold. Looks a little different. Okay, so um, this is a great discovery. Uh, Pybok props. I'm going to give you, well, I don't know. I was going to give you 1,000 uh, rep points but uh, because you held it from us for such a long time I'm going to subtract 999 from that and just give you one rep point haha <laughs> but um, very cool so now you can use XP tablet and do art as long as you change that one little setting